Hello, world! I'm Chris Perillo, right here, live. Well, right there, live. I mean, we're, we're, I'm here, and you're there watching this video live. I have an audience today, an audience of one, Dez Smith, also known as Ask Dez, D-E-S, on Twitter. You should follow him if you aren't already. It's because of him that I'm going to be able to unbox, and then he is, you're going to give it away, right? Well, you, we'll, we'll figure we'll out both who we're give it away. Give right. away. I'll go ship it. Okay, there you go. So one of you watching this live video is going to have this very LG G Flex phone in your hands. Of course, to qualify, I think you have to live in the United States and be at least 18 years old, which I'm pretty sure is everybody out there, right? Well, if not, Anybody can watch this video and, of course, appreciate what we're going to do for you. Uh, so thank you, Des, for making this possible. I really appreciate having friends over. Of course, of I, course. I don't get out much, as, as people know uh, very well. And everybody, <laughs> you should have by now received the free push notification from the Locker Gnome app, available for both iOS and Android. Uh, it would let you know that we're streaming live. It's the easiest way to stay up to date with what I'm doing, including on this new YouTube channel, just for geeky content that doesn't just include tech because, you know, geek is this big umbrella, tech is a small part of it. Uh, although, this is this is not exactly a small phone. Uh, and in fact, I will be, I mean, it's not, that's not a bad thing. It's actually part of its charm. So, uh, if you have not already subscribed to this YouTube channel and you thought you were a... Got two YouTube channels. This one is for the tech geeky content. The other one is just going to be for the blogs moving forward. So, thank you for subscribing. Here we go. Oh, hopefully I didn't damage it. And I don't think I did because this thing is, is pretty... Uh, it's pretty solid. Pretty solid. And we were playing <laughs> around with uh, Dez's uh, LG G Flex uh, just a few minutes before a broadcasting live. And I believe we get our picture. everybody is... There we go. There's Dez's phone. Hawks! Home. And they won! I can't I believe it. I still need to find some merchandise. Uh, I <laughs> haven't... We'll work on a hoodie for you. Oh, thanks. I wore my hoodie just for that's, that That's awesome. You know, I, I, I keep seeing <laughs> BOGOs, these offers as I'm driving by uh, various places in Seattle. So... Uh, here we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and unbox it. This is a new LG G Flex. You can see the uh, tape is yeah, still there on the back tape, with yeah. tons of logos on it, which I love. The more logos, the better, because that means it's, it is spec to the gills. And I think as we uh, you know roll forward with this, uh, you're, you're going to notice some pretty big differences between this phone and other phones. And I don't know if this is really going to come out because yeah, I have a dark off. office. This, here, showing does it, off the curve. Does that work? That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to say the, the box put something, put something is curved. Behind. Oh, thank you so much, Des. We'll see if that I don't works know if that works. That. So they made the box curved. Oh, yeah. Des uh, has uh, this case, too. And I, we may come back to it. But it was autographed by what, the, a surfer? Garrett McNamara. He, he owns the world record for the largest wave ever surfed. And uh, when I first saw the G Flex device, I thought it looks like a massive wave. And so we were with our friends uh, Body Glove Mobile. And they have these cool satin cases for G Flex, so I figured, hey, let's get Garrett to sign it, and we'll throw it in with the giveaway. Cause that, I mean, that's wow, just, that's just cool. That, you know, I used to surf midis all the time, but never, <laughs> never surfed a wave. Sorry, we could, you know, we could really take, old. We could go to the water park no one, over the summer. No one remembers <laughs> wave files or midi files. I just completely dated myself. All right, here we go. Slicing into the tape. By the way, uh, I think to qualify for for you to receive this, just ask a really good question. Uh, I'm going to be looking at the comments, making sure everything uh, is going just fine because I'm kind of scissors. You're getting active. crazy. I know. I'm I'm just nutty over here. I'm going to slice <laughs> everything. Uh, I'm, I play too much Fruit Ninja, I think, yeah. or Flappy Bird. Oh god. Okay, no, no, no. I, no. I didn't even download Hi. it. I Hi. didn't even. Yeah, it you're didn't even happen. probably smart. You know they they have a Flappy Burt Sesame 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 Street released Flappy Burt yesterday, and I, I was nice. I was sucked into that. Made for a by few the hours. same developer. No, 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 oh, no. Uh, there we go. We have now moved on to the reason we're doing this video, the unboxing, and uh, you can see it is curved. Okay, if you can't see it, let me put my white face behind it. There we go. It, it is definitely curved. We're gonna go ahead and pop it out, right there. Got the sticker on the front explaining how you knock on. And that's one of the reasons uh, why uh, you might want to get this device over another device. It's really simple. You just lay it on the desk, just like we've demonstrated in past videos that we've done on LG's products. Uh, you, uh, you can knock and it'll wake up, or you can knock it, you just tap twice and it'll uh, go to sleep again. So the rest of the unboxing. Here we go. Open the door and see all the windows. No, see all the people, wasn't that? Here's the church, the here's the steeple. Yeah, open. No, here we don't have people inside. We have a nice little welcome start guide, as well as terminos y condiciones. Which is very important if you speak for our, Spanish. For our Spanish-speaking yes. uh, friends. As it were. Uh, the AC adapter, USB. 
course. And I'm assuming the rest of it, oh, there's a sticker. Not a sticker you would use anywhere, it's for... It's for uh, ah, return merchandise if needed. Very nice, okay, it's nice to have that in there. And then the micro USB assumedly mm -hmm. adapter, just yep. a standard USB 2, yep. And that's it. Very attractive box in there, although you could use this uh, if you had a, a, you know, a need for like a bookshelf in a dollhouse somewhere. <laughs> it's a Darth Vader bookshelf, if you want or if I want. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it as far as the box is concerned. So let's yeah. go ahead. Can I take the sticker off and actually boot this sucker up? Yeah, let's right. do it. I mean, then we'll we'll put it all back together for our lucky winner. All right, let's see here. I gotta figure out, is there a tab for the sticker to easier? Uh, let's there see here. I'm not sure if I see it. up on the corner. Ow. Okay, gonna do well, You this. missed the cool little G SIM oh, thing. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed the G SIM. Oh, there we go. To so it, the ejector. The ejector it's, for it's, your SIM. Let me hold it a little closer so people can see it. That is kind of nice. For the big G on the Branded. G flex. G for gnome? Is that a, another good Ooh, one? Here's oh, a sticker. I like the cross promotional capabilities. <laughs> Hold on to the sticker here <laughs> and boot her up. Now this is uh, uh, typical for some of the, the newer LG products. You have the power button and the volume rocker switch on the back right uh, underneath the camera. We're gonna go ahead and press that power button. Should have some juice, there we go, LG, which by the way, I like that, not because I'm LG Locker Gnome, which I, I did that at Locker Gnome years ago. I mean, I, I had no idea LG as a company really even existed back in 1996. Uh, so here we go. We're booting up 4G LTE. Uh, so, you know, I don't know if I really want to go through the setup process with this, but would we be able to, yeah, or do you, I mean, play with mine. Okay, that, with mine. I think it, it'd be easier at this point. Uh, just some initial impressions with, uh, you know, holding on to this device. Uh, yeah, it looks, visually, yes, it looks different. I'm like, wow, the screen is curved, but not dramatically. No, yeah, it's, it's, um... It's subtle. It's funny, because when you, when you look online, or, or, you know, I'm a marketing guy, right? And so they talk about all the, you know... Yeah, but you're a marketing guy with heart. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and, and, and cred. You've got cred. And cred. I mean, it's, they say it's ergonomically designed. I actually think it does fit really good in the hand. I mean, it's, it's comfortable. It's comfortable. It, uh... For a for a bigger phone, right? And I'm sure you're going to compare it to the other one. Yeah, I was, I was going to hold it up. For yeah. a bigger phone, it's it's just got that really nice curved feel. It's got a good balance, probably more than anything. Uh, and it yeah. really feels that way as well. Lightweight for it's, the, for its size. Yeah. You know, you'd think it'd be really heavy, but no, it's it's very very lightweight. And oh, well, I'm sorry. Yes, guys. No, as you're talking. So it also has an IR blaster on the back. Oh, perfect. For right controlling there. Controlling your uh, for controlling your TV. Ah, uh, yeah. Because you can just and when you're holding it in your hand with that curve, it like works perfectly to control the TV. It works really great. It do, well, and it makes sense because yeah. you're holding the screen up to see it, type it in, then bam. Yeah. I, I, You know, I got to tell you, uh, I wouldn't imagine that being a, a feature that I appreciate, but still needing yeah. like an IR blaster specifically when I'm controlling some kind of device. Well, it's it does funny, come you know, we're going, We're going kind of un, un, unplugged in our house. You know, we're getting rid of cable and we're doing the satellite or not the satellite, but the Mahu right. Leaf, right. the HD uh, receiver. Uh, and then, um, you know, we're using Netflix, which actually this device comes with six months free Netflix. I saw that. Yeah, that's really cool. That's a bonus. So we do Netflix and we do uh, Amazon Instant Video. And ironically, you know, you can program this device to control your set-top box or, or whatever, and it, it works really great. You know, uh, it, 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 it's, it's a larger smartphone, uh, but I wouldn't say so large. And maybe yeah. it's just that I, I'm, I'm kind of accustomed well, I mean, to larger devices. It's a six-inch HD screen. So, and it, like we said, it's got the curve. I know, it looks nice, right? It's very, I, I mean, I, I got, you know, some people just, eh, I don't see the need, trust me. You know, I've never complained about having a, a larger screen for like video sure. or, uh, you know, viewing images or yeah. you know, even surfing the web. So I'm going to go ahead and hold it up against uh, uh, this other device, again, from T-Mobile. And sh let's see here, I'm going to go one on top of the other. There's the, uh, the LG G Flex just behind it. There's a side profile, and you can definitely see the curve there more pronounced. So it's probably one of the larger Android devices that mm. I've used to date and certainly the most ooh, the least flat. <laughs> I'm going I'm going to leave it there. The least flat uh, of all the Android devices out there. Like, uh, very lightweight. Now another thing that is I mean this is a, this is a perfect segue to, to picking up your and it's okay for to yeah, pick up right your device, right? It's, it's not going to shock me or anything like that. Video. Okay, great. Oh. So just to demonstrate the video for a second as I, yeah, I kind of talk through it. Another value to this particular device is, uh, and this is, I don't know if this is the term for it, but like a self-healing back. So it has self-healing paint. Okay. And the idea behind the self-healing paint, and, and I'm... It's a beautiful screen. Uh, I'm not the, the perfect person to answer this question, but the, the way we have started to talk about it is, you know, when you throw this device in your back pocket, or if a lady's carrying it, she throws it in her purse, or you're a student, you throw it in your backpack, that everyday wear and tear that eventually kind of doles out your paint. 
Uh, well, oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm an arachnophobe, and I just see this red <laughs> ant in my face. There, it's, it's so it's larger than life. Yeah. Um, but that self-healing paint uh, will help reduce that everyday wear and tear that you would normally see on your device. Minor scratches, things like that. And and that's why I want to kind of point it out. I mean, yes, there, there's. Des has been using this, but I don't see any heavy scratches, and I don't think I could necessarily do this and expect it's going to heal. It's just no, a but, but the stuff that minor normally, scuffs. yeah, scuffs and uh, things that rub up against your device. Now, can you uh, swap out the battery? I mean, I'm just, no, it's a sealed device. Okay, it is a sealed. And I'm sorry if you said that. In, no, it's okay. I, I was kind of excited in terms of like what's going on here. Oh, it's a very nice screen, which yeah. again is a fantastic reason yeah, to beautiful. have this device over something else. Uh, you, know, and you were comparing it with like a note, right? And right. I think one of the things I noticed the most about, about I'm, gonna um, I'm gonna show them side by G-Flex side. G-Flex is that it fits good in hand. Uh, it comes with SSX, which is a snowboarding game. So that right okay. off the bat, you know, you've got a, a good proof point of, of kind of a gaming prowess, if you will. It's got a quad core processor, big six inch screen, and it's just really comfortable. That I think that ergonomic design, uh, they call it a cinematic viewing experience. I think it just feels good in your hand, especially like when you're playing games or watching movies. I watched uh, I watched several episodes of The Walking Dead. I have not, I device. know you keep saying I need to watch it. I gotta catch up on Sherlock and The Walking Dead. Yeah. And I, I have I have to, I must do this. Because, <laughs> well, because it's now in pop culture and if, I'll is, miss all the references. This is the reason why I, I started figure, watching Doctor Who. I have to Who. figure out now that we're disconnecting the cable how to get The Walking Dead. We'll yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> I that's a, a completely different issue altogether. But I'm very happy to to, to know you that. Know, you know what? The winner is the person who tells us how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, in legal yeah. means, you know, because I'm sure there are many ways of doing it. But you know, I don't think that's something uh, uh, to skip uh, skip over. Really, is that six months of Netflix? That's yeah. what is it? Eight dollars a month yeah, or so times. Time. You know, I mean, I'm not going to yeah. say the device pays for itself, but that's a nice bonus. No, and it's great, and it really shows off the screen and it's uh, it's something most of most of your viewers most of the people i know they use netflix religiously uh so it's a it's a great little added bonus yeah i would say it's a fantastic little bonus so there you go software buttons by the way on the bottom the lg button if, if it is a button it doesn't seem to be re responding so i don't know if there's necessarily any capacitive connectors no. down here so software buttons in case anybody was wondering let's see if we have any other questions uh when this is a good question when will it get kitkat uh, I don't know if Des would even know that. That's really controlled by LG uh, at this point. Yeah, we can take the question back to the product manager, Manu, who runs this particular device. And see, that's not... I'm sorry, no, I'm not to interrupt, okay. but I'm saying that's the nice thing is that, you know, another reason why I like working with uh, T-Mobile and Des specifically with the Android devices over there um, is because it's that direct line. You can normally just ask that question, you never know who it's going to get to, but, sure. you know, it's, it's, it's very nice to have those. Uh, the feedback and being a part of that uh, feedback loop. Uh, I'm not sure if there have been any other questions, general questions that people have been asking, because I think you've been watching this a, a bit more deeply than I have. I knew yeah. about the device, but didn't, of course, have the experience that you had with yeah. it. Yeah, so it's, it's running. Jelly Bean. It's a uh, we talked about quad core processor. Of course, it's running 4G LTE on T-Mobile's network. It's wicked fast. So downloading of videos, uh, streaming of content, things like that work really well. Um, you know what else can I tell you about it? You I know, just... it's 13 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization. That's the second okay. device LG's done that. Fantastic. We did it with the G2 it. as well, right? So camera's real snappy. In fact, I shared some photos online when I uh, first took this to CES and we announced it that Monday morning. See, again, you got to follow Desmond on Twitter. I'm just going through and I'm, I'm exploring. Hope you don't mind your uh, the, the software. I'm not getting into anything private that I know of. Uh, <laughs> but the screen is very responsive. And I would say that text is clear. Images are crisp. Oh, look at that. You must look what was recommended for Desmond. Perillo Vlog 560. Have a nice, nice day. That was nice. uh, my friend Slav's bacon wrapped ribs right there on the oh, plate. That's what that is. Yes. I, I saw oh that my picture. Gosh. I was like, what is that? He, he, he just started eating bacon and he's become a bacon fiend. Wow. So uh, for those of you wondering, yes, the screen is very responsive. Uh, the uh, beautiful, crisp uh, images, the, the text is sharp. Uh, it's clean. I, 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 I'm not finding anything that's jumping out at me, you know, in, in, in a way that I'm like, oh, well, that's kind of odd other than the red ant that popped up in the video. Yeah, sorry about that. Not really a fan of the, the whole <laughs> legged things on my devices. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, so anything else we should cover here? Does the phone have wireless charging? Chi? Uh, it does not. No wireless charging on here, but hey, you know, uh, there, there's something to be said about having... The cable, uh, you know, you're always going to be able to have that backwards compatibility. I haven't had, uh, well, do I have any wireless charging devices? Your Nexus. The Nexus. Nexus. See, I, Nexus here's the thing. Nexus are built in. 
I don't even have a wireless charger. Every every place I turn needs some kind of wired connection, and it's, it's yeah. just easier. So are you gonna I wanna pop that on? Pop okay. This case on it real quick. So Fantastic. This is a this is a body glove um, satin case, and it's like one of these kind of thinner ones. The idea is to keep it to not grow the device, but to give it some level of protection. And you can see there, it followed the curve. Look at that. So you have a, a good device. You've got uh, at least uh, a few accessories out there that are going to help keep it protected and that accommodate it as well. That sure. curve is a sure. big value when it comes to ergonomics. Well, and you know, as you were talking, one of the things is when you have a big device, you don't want to put a case on it and make the thing just huge. Right. I mean, we're, we're, in, a, I we're, in, the, we're in the phablet world right here with this device, but you don't want to turn this phablet into a seven inch tablet, right? No. <laughs> uh, and I, I, I always laugh anytime I see anybody with a, a case that's like three times as large sure. as the phone. I'm like, really? What are you some protecting? Of those, why? Some of those shockproof kind of waterproof cases that uh, rhyme with uh, various animals. That's crazy. Can grow the devices really big. And in this particular case, it's it's nice and slim. So uh, I'm, I've got a good question. Okay. Uh, it's not really a question. This comes from Minecraft Kingdom or X Minecraft Kingdom X. Does that mean you used to play Minecraft? Or? Uh, I tried and I got I got motion sickness playing Minecraft. <laughs> I, I think largely because I, I've got like 30 inch screens behind me and I think I need to find smaller screens. I never thought I'd say that, but uh, for playing Minecraft, I just motion sickness. So someone wants me to try to bend this device, and I'm a little afraid of oh, yeah, doing do that. Let's take the case off. Okay. Remember we talked about. Um, I, so, so okay, I Here. I'm going to add, I'm going to push your device down Put on the table. Do mine. We'll we'll save the new one that we're giving okay, away. The, so the one that one of you is going to get is going to remain untouched. Although if you want me to autograph, you want Des to autograph it. I guess it's your prerogative. He's gonna yeah. he's gonna after this live video, he's actually going to ship it to whoever gets it. Yeah, I'll so let you here take I go. the details and getting the uh, address and everything. Uh, yeah, that's not a problem at all. My email address Chris at Perillo .com. Go for it. <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh my there God. There you go. Wow. Okay, it's... You're flexing both the phone and the table. I'm uh, nice. I'm working... This is how I work out. I, I think you have been I, working I've got a great out. I don't think I've noticed you being able this. to move the table somewhere. Look at my guns, <laughs> or lack thereof, in my Magneto hoodie. Wow, okay. Well, no damage at all. It bends. It, it definitely flexes. Now you have to do the pocket test. I'm the pocket test, the pocket yes. test, yes. I have, I'm a small man, but <laughs> I have large pockets, deep pockets. Here we go. There we go. Fits right in there. Accommodates my lip balm. Let's try the back pocket. Now, Although, see your lip balms in there? They're rubbing yeah, together. Yeah, they're rubbing they're together, not, right? Not no scratch. Love it, love it, love it. Did not plan on uh, uh, that. I just keep uh, lip balm on me. Uh, so there's the back pocket test. I don't generally keep things in my it's back pocket. It reminds me of the Dana Carvey, George Michael skit, you know. I missed Look that at one. Look my bottom. It's so round. Scientists set their instruments by it. <laughs> I totally missed so that that's one. really old time. Um, you're probably playing Minecraft right about that time. Uh, <laughs> the uh, uh, yeah, no doubt. Um, so it, uh, you're getting you're getting text messages that we're not showing on the screen, oh. but everything should be okay. I think we have uh, people see. at T-Mobile tuning in, and hello, T-Mobile. Everyone say hi, which I do every time I drive by it. Thank you, by the way, for changing the colors of the building uh, during the uh, Super Bowl. That was hey, uh, fantastic yeah, to see. It just, it's illuminated. It, you know, I just it's it's very beautiful to drive by. So, uh, and I've done it. So, a few times. Is it heavy? No, it is not. Uh, asks, uh, that was Gargi's Tech Laboratory who asked, is it pocketable? I think we answered that question. T or Tonsul. So, what is your opinion on curved screens? Asks Transfusion Tech. And do you think it's just a fad or something that we'll see become the norm on phones, phablets, tablets, and TVs and monitors? Well, you know, I... I, I haven't had much experience, and I think Des even kind of... I think, I think it's innovative. I think it's different. Uh, I, don't, I don't think that every device will go to a curved screen, but I think that in the right use case on a device, on a bigger device like this, curving the screen gives it a better ergonomic feel, uh, and it makes it really comfortable. And, it, and if, if you think about it, especially when... This is where I think it makes sense. Yeah. Uh, and I'm, I'm not, again, I'm not slagging anything. I'm just saying this is where it makes sense with an ergonomic feel. When you're in the phablet territory, it's going to be a very tall type of device yeah. versus, oh, take go. this one. Uh, here, my, there's a pretty, I'm a small guy, small head, uh, uh, despite the rumors. Uh, and when I cut my hair, especially, you know, I, I, I want it to curve around my face when I'm using it as a phone or a communications sure. device. And that's where it really comes in handy. So in terms of larger screens, or in a, in a phablet territory, I think a curved screen makes a lot of sense. In terms of a, a television or, or other larger screens, I'm not I'm not so sure. And I think this is, by the way, I think this is a really good question yeah. because many people wrestle with when they see a new feature on a product, they wonder is it a gimmick or is there really a value to it? And I think 
specifically in this use case, in the phablet territory, I think a curved screen really does make sense. Yeah, absolutely. Because you're, I mean, as much as I do my best with a smartphone not to use it as a, <laughs> a communication, when did I ever use my phone as a phone? I hardly use it that yeah, way right. anymore. Or if I do, it's usually on, on a speaker. And by the way, the speaker's here on the back. And it was a fantastic It was quite loud, speaker. right? <laughs> it was very loud. So you think, oh, it's a small slit. No, this thing's got power. So um, you just in, in initial uh, test and impressions. But in using it like this, I'm not I'm not struggling with it. It just it yeah. just seems to it fits my face. People don't say, oh, I, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. you know, right. The microphone's, the microphone's too far away. Right. Yeah, sure. So in terms of a use case for this, those, I guys, think those guys that originally designed telephones to have a slight curved handle. I mean, maybe they were on. Maybe they were. That's right. They the old Bakelite phones. You know, <laughs> I still have nightmares about rotary dial. You can download an app, the rotary dial app, but it's yeah. just not the same. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, how many? I don't think how many uh, uh, many people in in my community have ever seen or touched a rotary dial phone other than through an app. Transfusion Tech is the person who answered that question. So if you qualify, if you live in the U.S. and are 18 years or older, drop me a line. You are Chris a at Perillo.com. I think we're going to send you this. This is a, now it's a used device. I booted it up, and Des is going to be sending it off uh, potentially to you. Uh, just go ahead and drop me a line. Uh, that is it is a large device. And that's a beautiful thing. That is that's not a that's not a a, a, a cut uh, by any means because having more options, you know, not not just increases competition, but it, it increases your po the possibility of you finding something that suits you, that fits you, and uh, is something that you've been looking forward to. And perhaps uh, the LG G Flex is right there, exact square in the crosshairs of what you were waiting for in terms of hardware, potentially in terms of software. So, uh, Des, uh, thanks for uh, stopping by. Of course. And uh, doing this uh, for us, I guess, and for uh, Transfusion Tech. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and rebox this. Box that up. Oh, I, I've got to ask, and I will if you drop me a line, uh, and we'll we'll confirm that it is you in one way, shape, or form, because you know um, we want to make sure we do that. Uh, if you want, we can sign it before sending it off. That should not be an issue. So. Uh, anything else we need to cover at this point? No, it's great. Or want to cover? Well, I just wanted to say thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thanks again, Des. Um, and uh, everybody, I think that's really all I, I needed to say right now. I'm, trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm going through a bullet list of things that I wanted to cover in my head, and I think I got it all. So thanks again, guys. Uh, thanks for remembering to comment, like, share, subscribe, and even watch more of our videos right now.